Cute Fish OS, or in this case, Cute Fish OS Reborn. So what's Cute Fish? Cute Fish is a, another desktop environment that's still being worked on, with the aim to look like, you guessed it from the screenshot, Mac OS style interface. And about a year or two ago, a this came out, was used in one or two other OS's, but was mainly a distribution for Cute Fish OS and was based on Ubuntu and then it just vanished and a couple of other OS still would include the cute fish desktop environment but nothing very much happened. Until recently the OS was reborn and interestingly enough now you get two editions now. You get the 2204 Yo-Yo edition which is developed with the assistance of the Yo-Yo team and if you don't know the Yo-Yo team is a division of Deepin, yes, the same folks that bring Deepin OS and uh, Deepin interface from uh, China. And there's also Cute Fish OS based on Debian 12, and both of these are beta. So, what I decided to do was, well, if we're going to look at Cute Fish, we might as well look at the whole OS. So, guess what we're going to look at today? We're going to look at Cute Fish OS. Okay, so we've got the tried or install it. Let's first install it. English, install third party codex. Erase it, just gonna install it, yep. Continue. LA is fine. And my details, that's fine. Require my password to log in absolutely. Continue. And we're going to load a copy files and I'll be back when it's finished the step. Okay, so finally after about 20 minutes it's installed. So let's hit restart now. Okay, so since I can't get this thing to load after it's installed, we're just gonna look at the live image. Okay, so I'm gonna fix the settings quickly, the display. Okay, and here we have uh, the desktop environment, the Qt Fish environment. So right inside, of course, the volume, the volume, the power, the clock, uh, clicking here on desktop, right click can show hidden files go to properties etc so if i click here we have the launcher which shows us which applications are pre-installed so you can see here they've got the scored they've got a different package of the installer synaptic package manager system update and the spark store and you can also drag these uh, icons around the next page uh, utils Alex image, smart trucks, uh, WPS office, Elysia, Kate, etc. So I'm first going to start off with what on earth is a Spark store. And here it is. So the Spark store uh, is this. It's a uh, app store for deep, uh, deep and OS. And you can see it's obviously also available for uh, this as well. Okay, cancel, go back. So if I go to picture or video, it should change these. Um, right, okay. Uh, and next, we're going to go to the next option, so U Tools. All right. Uh, Alex Image. So that's just an image viewer. Uh, WPS Writer. So if you're not sure what that is, I'll show you now. I'll confirm. And let's say I want to do a new document. It'll create a new document as you can see here and 
point this is a very popular app it of course looks very much like Microsoft Office um, and it's just divided by Kingsoft uh, Corporation so I'm just going to close that and UTools is of course by looking at that is a launch uh, manage application Matrix which is a download manager so I'm just going to close uh, Matrix okay then moving down here a terminal so for the shell it uses with bash You're using 1.6 gigs of memory bear in mind it's a live cd so might just a bit more and as you can see here it's cute fish uh, based on Ubuntu 22.04. All right, so going to settings here is the Qtfish settings interface. So as you can see here, about is, here it's called itself Yo-Yo Yo -Yo OS based on Ubuntu. Um, and of course over here, all these uh, configuration settings you can do. It has a real deep, this, uh, Cutefish has kind of like a deepened desktop interface, but themed for macOS. So if you were to take a Deepen or Depian desktop and make it look like macOS, it would be this. Uh, okay, video player, trash, uh, all the normal apps. And of course, some of these apps are even what's available in Depian, which makes a lot of sense since these distros uh, Depth inside involvement with this distro. So, who's it for? Well, if you want to use Ubuntu 22.04 and you want an interface that's like Mac OS ish type, but not completely, then yeah, why not try Cutefish? Uh, folks, as always, leave your comments below. Bye for now.